Well, we got some developing current events happening that's affecting off-grid, I hear. So today we're in a tiny house. It's a little chilly outside, it's cloudy. And I know that every time I do a video inside that you gotta have better lighting. I know you live off-grid, but you need to do something about your lighting. I know, I should get a studio. I actually had a YouTube expert do an audit my channel so that you need a, a better studio. I'm thinking I live off grid. How am I going to get a studio? I don't have electric <laughs> or very minimal electric. But I tell you, what I really need is to grow a chest to have a halter top that would take care of all my problems. Now, you may hear the cat purring in the background. She's kind of loud, actually. Carolyn just made her a crocheted pillow. I would show you the pillow, but Carolyn would be in the picture. So, Carolyn also made a jacket for herself. So, the pillow looks much like her jack, same colors. Carolyn's always like pink and purple, so that's the only way she can get a pink and purple jacket is through crocheting. Got the fire going. Made a mistake on my well. Tell you I have ditches around my well to pull that water away from the well. I would take you out and show it, but I've showed it a hundred times. And so that's made a huge difference. We've went through some gully washer rain events this past summer not any issues with the well what it was is the well was getting dirty because that water would rush down into the well well the other day i showed you that i was doing some rainwater collection because it was a long cloudy event about a week and a half of clouds and we we're going to be able to run the well very much so i wanted to have enough water for the chickens and the, and the toilets what i did was was so stupid i put a brick in one of the ditches one of the ditches that drain away to help hold up the sink that I was using to collect rainwater. And that <laughs> brick held the water back, went right down in the well, so I had to flush out the well today. Which got me to thinking about our water and what we do to try to keep it clean. Now, as you know, Carolyn and I have been nomads. Water was tough, just absolutely tough. I can't express to you enough the importance of water. Once you don't have it, it's such a commodity. Now, Carolyn has done without water before. She bought eight acres years ago and didn't have a well on it so while uh, they're trying to save up money to get a well they went around and filled up buckets and things from the state park or neighbors or wherever they could get the water so she understood <laughs> the importance of water but i learned it really quick as a nomad now we have the berkey and the berkey uh, is a it's called a water purification system it says it right on the box black berkey purification element I love this thing. I've had one since, uh, I'm going to say 2011. My first wife took the one that, the first one we had. And then I bought one after she left. And then it burned up in a fire. So this is my third one. Now, it's been well used. I've dropped it. I've had to replace the nozzle. This is all dented in. It's stained, and but it just never stops working. Now, when we were nomads, we used it really hard. We took water out of streams. Water was always nasty, no matter where we went. Go to a conservation area or go to a, well, in, in, any park. And they would have these water spigots, but the water was just so rusty, nasty. And the Berkey would take the rust out, but it clogs them up really fast. So the filters would last about a year, and then you have to replace them. And there's a test you can do. Now, Berkey, says it can last let's just call it six years for two filters three years for one one filter now each box is sold with two filters in it so i always say six thousand gallons because that's what they say six thousand gallons about what you use in six years while we were running it on the road it, they last a year we went through all kinds of filters now the first set of filters i guess i just didn't take care of well enough because they got clogged up pretty bad and we were on well water now we were on well water now and we don't have a problem with them but you got to maintain them. You got to back flush them. They call it priming. And I noticed with the wood stove that I have to prime it quite frequently. About every third or fourth time we fill it, it will slow down immensely. And what you got to do is, what I do is I just take the top portion off, turn this upside down. You know, there's no water up here. You fill this up, that water drips down into this second chamber here. So this top part's empty most of the time this is where the filters hang out and the filters look like this so, so they sit in a tank like this 
and they got a nozzle on the bottom of them so that water drips through the nozzle well in order to prime this you put a this up underneath your sink or a hose or whatever and you force water backwards into it and that primes it the i think the instruction says you got to put water in it at least every three days and if you're not doing that then your tank is too big our tank isn't too big we use it about every three days but this wood stove just dries them out fast so it's no big deal you just prime them when it gets too clogged up you have to take a scotch bright greeny scratch pad and you just scratch it up and it cleans it and then you prime it again i've been doing it about every six months but we use ours a lot carol and i drink a ton of water there is a lot of controversy about the berkey i love them as far as i'm concerned that's all that matters to me i don't i don't understand why my safety and my preferences have to be determined by everybody else i know there was a youtuber a year or two ago and he made all kinds of headlines he had a brand new channel and he made a video about a berkey and it trended he hated berkey i mean he just hated berkey and he he made video after video about it and he got so dramatic i mean it was just overly dramatic in some of his videos towards the end he was saying i just can't sleep at night from this berkey i'm thinking man the berkey filters only cost maybe 150 dollars here's the problem is berkey makes some statements that i think some people may misinterpret if you read their website it addresses everybody's issues always has but what they expect is you go you buy your filter and that it should just last six years or six thousand gallons they do express that perhaps if you put heavy metals in it more often than other people that it's going to wear out a lot faster and i know that because when we ran all that rusty water our filters died quickly but here in this well i've not had any problems these filters will be coming up on four years old I guess in maybe March and they're still pretty much like new except they dry out now like I said I have a backup set here now the Berkey just takes out a ton of stuff this is the box they come in if you try to read all that I mean it's just endless amounts of stuff now you do have to be careful viruses some viruses some viruses not all viruses cannot be filtered out they're just too small if you have that problem so let's say you're taking water out of stream and you think something's went to the bathroom up the hill it might have a virus in it take a little bleach put it in your water let it sit stir it up and let it sit i don't know an hour and then put that water in the berkey the berkey takes out the, the bleach and then not only that the bleach will evaporate out in an hour or so but like i said the, the berkey takes out almost everything and if you're really worried about those kind of viruses you know you're gonna need to do some sort of sanitation anyways so that's what we did when we were nomads when we were taking the water out of the creek I would put it in a bucket that had a pump on it and I put two filters on the on the pump so I have house filters outside that I filter my well water through it was the same filters just house filters so I would put the water in that bucket with bleach I would filter it through like a, a first stage filtration through that house filter and then I'd put it into Berkey and it worked great that way if there was any possibilities of any type of viruses upstream it would take care of it everything else bacteria and all that gets taken out now a lot of people will every time I make a video oh, I don't take out this or doesn't take out that so I'm going to quickly try to read through the list of things the heavy metals that it takes out so it takes out aluminum, antimony, barium, berylithium, bismuth, <laughs> I'm butchering these words, cadmium, cobalt, chromium, chromium-6, copper, iron, lead. Now think about this. You live in Michigan, or back then you live in Michigan. That's when we bought this, actually. It takes out the lead. Mercury, molybdenum, and nickel. Now get this radiological contaminants gross alpha emitters gross beta emitters and uranium now for all those preppers out there worried about world war three uranium and then it takes out arsenic and a, a, a slew of other things e coli magnesium uh, nitrates uh, words i can't pronounce refined oil 
petroleum products, gasoline, diesel, crude oil, kerosene, mineral spirits, selenium, uh, more words I can't pronounce. Now, I don't use the fluoride filters. There's filters that you can attach to the bottom of these filters and they're white, they hang down. Now, those black filters take out aluminum. But in order to get rid of fluoride, you have to use aluminum. So you're putting aluminum back into your water when you're taking out fluoride. So just be aware of that. I'm not sure aluminum's that terrible for you. It, it really depends on what you're worried about. What you could do, and I know this sounds silly, is you could have two filtration systems. Have an old filtration system that doesn't work, poke holes in it. I use buckets. You can make a, a Berkey out of buckets. I've showed you how to do that a long time ago. So you could have the water go through the fluoride filters first before going through the black filters and then refilter that water into your black filters in a different container like a Berkey to get rid of the aluminum if that's what you're really worried about. But it depends on how worried you are about water. I mean, most people aren't that worried about water. But this has made our venture possible. You know, Carolyn and I have been kind of on an adventure for the last six years and it, without this, we wouldn't have been able to do it. It would have been very difficult. It just makes life easier. And I, I trust it wholeheartedly. But I try also to keep it from getting clogged up. Like I said today, I, I got my well dirty. So I had to flush out my well, but I pre-filter. I use those house filters and then I bring the water into the Berkey when we need to fill it. A lot of people don't understand how filtration works, but you do clog up filters. That's why you gotta replace them. They just clog up. Just like your air filter on your car, your oil filter, they just clog up. I'm kind of putting some things together, but I think that YouTuber caused Berkey a world of problems. First of all, Berkey had to address that issue. Then, recently, the EPA tried to force Berkey into labeling their filters as pesticides. Now, I don't understand the whole thing, and I'm not gonna pretend I'm some sort of expert, but it's my understanding that they use silver. All charcoal filters use silver in their filters. And what silver does is keeps the algae from growing on the filters. Well, silver is also used in pesticides. For some reason, the EPA decided that two filtration systems needed to identify that they use pesticides in their filters. Well, I mean, imagine that. You're telling everybody that your filters clean water but you're putting pesticides in your water. So Berkey, the manufacturing company of Berkey, sued the EPA and lost. So now it's being appealed, but the company is still making filters. What happened was, is after the first court case, the EPA went down and shut down several Berkey distributors. One of them is called BerkeyFilters.com. It's a website, a distribution center. So Berkey sends their filters to the distribution center and the distribution center sells it to the public. I use a website, I think it's called Big Black Berkey or Big Black something, anyway, it's, it's a different distributor and my distributor is still selling filters. But there's a big uproar right now that Berkey has shut down. Berkey has not shut down, they're fighting the good fight. I suspect they're gonna win. They, they have filed an appeal at the federal court in Texas. It seems very unlikely that Texas is gonna support this and say that Berkey can't filter water. Now, here's the thing, is there are several certifications that filtration companies have to use. And Berkey doesn't use all of them. There's one certification they don't use. So in the very beginning, Berkey was not allowed to sell filters in California and Iowa. Now, I've been told by subscribers that you can buy filters in California now. I don't know if that's true. If you can, great. But you cannot in Iowa, which is great because that's where my wife went to when she took my Berkey. I hope she never gets it replaced. <laughs> I'm sure she knows somebody out of state that can buy them, but she took my Berkey. I've lived in Iowa for a while. Like I said, my ex-wife is from Iowa. Iowa is big into public water supply. They're, they're big into it for some reason. So that might have something to do with it. They don't want competition for clean water. I would suggest to do like we've done, go ahead and buy yourself an extra set, just in case something happens to Berkey. 
I would hate to see that happen, but like Carolyn said, if anything ever happened, there are knockoff brands you could use. But Ber Berkey was the leader in this. You know, Life Straw, that's a, that's a huge hiking filtration system. It's a straw and you can take it out to the stream and <laughs> suck water out of it and get clean water. Life Straw, it's my understanding, was developed based on the concept of Berkey. They're not banning Life Straws and they're not banning a lot of different filtrations, but they're after Berkey, and I think they're after Berkey because of this perceived idea that they're falsely advertising. I don't think they're falsely advertising. I think that they, you have to do your homework. And Americans have gotten so lazy, they just want to complain about everything. And whine on YouTube, I can't sleep at night, I lost $150. So if you'll click this up next box, it'll take you to a video where I was showing you how to build a tiny house. So if I can inspire you to do your research so you can live your dreams. Thanks for watching.